protests against Nupur Sharmine Karnataka now. The Muslims are staging protests in Bidar in Kalaburagi. That's the latest coming in at the moment. Massive protests in the state of Karnataka against Nupur Sharma, who made the controversial remark against Prophet Muhammad. An Indian flag, as you can see, has been disrespected at that protest as well without an Ashoka Chakra at the protest. Just take a look at that. The flag is being hurled without an Ashoka Chakra and that is a uh, uh, disrespect to the national flag. Uh, massive protests in Karnataka. Indian flag has been disrespected as you can clearly see on your screens as well. Uh, this is rather very unfortunate that uh, the protesters felt, uh, uh, had to disrespect the national flag in this manner. Absolutely unacceptable. We'll see what action is taken against them for this. Uh, but the protests uh, are against Nupur Sharma in Karnataka. All of this because she of course made that controversial uh, comment against Prophet Muhammad and disrespected Prophet Muhammad. And you do see the outrage all across the country, in fact all around the world. And just take a look at the global repercussions of these comments by Nupur Sharma as well. Anyway, coming back to what is happening in Karnataka, Nagarjun is now joining us. Nagarjun, two points. One is, uh, who is leading these protests? And secondly, why is the Indian flag disrespected? Who is behind it? Uh, well, at this point of time, it is the organizations of different wings of uh, minority community who have come uh, together today uh, to protest in Bidar and Gulbarga. These are uh, very close to Telangana, Hyderabad. So they had always a Muslim dominant uh, population there, especially in these two districts. There are a dominant community there. And uh, today, many organizations, be it business traders and others, have come together to protest, asking justice of uh, against Nupur Sharma and Navin Jindal for the comments on Prophet Muhammad. They say that uh, uh, tough cases have to be filed against her and the law should take its own course and the police have to take cognizant, uh, cognizance of this comment by Nupur Sharma and file an FIR. That's the demand coming from Bidar and Gulbarga. It is happening in both districts in Karnataka. Uh, last week we saw what happened across India from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and today in uh, Hyderabad, Karnataka region, two districts I have seen the massive protests where large number of people have gathered holding Tiranga flag asking justice against Nupur Sharma. Absolutely. And uh, at the moment, any kind of action that is being taken by the cops because the national flag clearly is disrespected right there at the protest site. Uh, the police are still trying to find out who were the organizers and uh, trying to talk to them. As of now, what we are getting to understand is that uh, the crowd has been dispersed. The visuals that we are seeing was just from the post-lunch session around 2 p.m. to 1 p.m. But right now at the moment uh, the crowd have been dispersed by the police and uh, they are trying to find out who the organizers, organizers were and they have not taken any prior permission for them. Absolutely. And this is a massive protest that is uh, happening against Nupur Sharma for the controversial comments that she made against Prophet Muhammad. This is a big breaking story. Uh, uh, Nagarjun, is it just one community that is staging a protest? Yes, this is a local traders and very uh, varied organizations of Muslim community in Bida district. Like I said, they are uh, one of the majority communities in the district. So they are private business uh, owners, traders, and different walks of life. They've all come together in different weeks of Muslim uh, community and are uh, holding a protest. Uh, what is the demand at this point of time? They want uh, justice uh, to be given to them. They want some action from the government agencies against Nupur Sharma and Navin Jindal, be it FIR or some kind of action. Uh, they feel that someone making such a ran, uh, remark in a, in a TV debate and can't get caught free. There needs to be some action against Nupur Sharma and the government agencies have to sue more to register a case against her. Okay, so that is their demand. That is their demand. And, uh, you know, they are protesting. They want to be heard at this point. Uh, but, you know, the, the thing is that that Indian flag without the Ashoka Chakra, that is alarming to see, Nagarjun. Absolutely. That itself is a violation of the flag code of conduct that uh, within the Indian premises, the national flag has to be respected. And the visuals that we are getting, there is no Ashoka Chakra, but the blue Chakra that we always see with the Indian national flag is not seen. And this is the tricolor flag that they are holding. That itself is a violation of the flag code. Uh, we will have to see if the FIR will be filed against the protesters also by the district police. Uh, and at the moment, uh, are these protests peaceful? 
Yes, this is absolutely peaceful because the march in that, uh, like like I said, because the trader community also involved. So we can see it's a market area that they've all gathered in uh, in a commercial area. All the uh, members of the protest are, are gathered in. But right now, what we are getting is getting to pick up is they have been dispersed and it's completely peaceful and calm right now. Sir, is it because they did not have permission to protest, or what was the reason? If they didn't have permission to protest also, and uh, with COVID increasing, the, the police thought it is not as completely called for for such large gatherings. Just recently, Karnataka government has put in compulsory masks uh, uh, in public places. Also, the rules, the COVID norms are back in place, and that's one of the main reasons that the pol police also dispersed the crowd, saying uh, one, right. they didn't have prior permission. Second, also COVID norms right. might be violated. All right, Nandujan, thank you so much for that uh, extensive report right there.